If you're looking for cheap and reliable Ultimate Team coins, check the link in the description for FIFA Coin Zone. They're selling for £3 per 100k on the Xbox at the moment and at £3 per 100k on the PlayStation. Use the code JOSH5 to get 5% off. What's up, lads? Josh here, and welcome back to another episode of January Done Deals. And today's video, of course, is going to be Deadline Day. Deadline Day has literally, well, not literally just passed because obviously it's been a day. Um, but yeah, Deadline Day was yesterday and it's been a huge uh, transfer window, of course. 19 transfers I'm going to cover today and uh, we're going to have to get straight into it because there is a lot of players to talk about today so we're gonna be, I'm gonna be talking about nine players and then I will quickly show you some of the transfers that I don't really want to talk about at the end otherwise the video will be like 20 minutes long so anyway let's get straight to this video January deadline day and uh, yeah let's get straight into it and on to the first transfer of the day guys we're going to be talking about Juricic and of course he has basically just joined Southampton from Benfica for a season long loan deal well basically till the end of the season he was on loan at Mainz until January and he's don't, I don't really think he's done that much. Apparently, he hasn't scored since like 2013, apparently. So, not really sure about this transfer, but obviously, um, Ronald Koeman thinks it's a good transfer and he has uh, basically just picked up Juricic on loan until the end of the season from Benfica. Moving on to the next transfer, guys, we're going to be seeing a full permanent transfer, and that is going to be Zaha going back to his old club, Crystal Palace, of course. He spent like two seasons there on loan, and he's obviously loving life there more than at uh, Manchester United because he just doesn't seem to be able to get a game at Manchester United. It's fully understandable, and unfortunately, I do think the transfer was just a little bit too... Um, it was too early in his career, obviously. We paid £15 million for him, and we have now just sold him for £3 million. So that is a £12 million loss, and, uh, you know, that's that's not really good business, is it? We, we were trying to pick one up for the future, and uh, we've gone the opposite way and obviously sold him for a huge loss. But anyway, uh, Zaha has gone back to Crystal Palace on full-time for £3 million, and he will now be playing for Crystal Palace as a permanent deal. And moving on to the next transfer, guys, we're going to be talking about Aaron Lennon, and uh, he is eventually breaking away from Spurs, of course. He hasn't played for any other team than Spurs for a very long time, and now he is going to uh, go out on loan to Everton till the end of the season to see what you know what what his career still has ahead of him, because, of course, he hasn't been doing much for Spurs in the last couple of years. In the last, like, sort of two, three years, he hasn't really done too much for Spurs, and hopefully this transfer or, you know, this little bit of a break from Spurs and a game, you know, a good bit of game time, if Everton and do actually play him of course um, you know it will do the world of good for him to get back into his uh, you know get back into his prime and obviously start scoring goals and you know getting assists and stuff like that an actual game time um, instead of you know being sat on the bench and only coming on in like the 70th minute every you know, for every, like, couple of games or so. So, uh, yeah, London will now be playing the rest of his season at Everton. And moving on to the next transfer, of course, guys, we're going to be talking about Salah, and this is part of the Quadrado deal, I do believe, and it is going to be seeing Salah go to Fiorentina, whereas Quadrado is coming the other way. But it is only until on loan until the end of the season, of course, whereas Quadrado is a full permanent deal for, like, four-and-a-half-year contract. Um, but Salah will be playing at Fiorentina until the end of the season. It just really hasn't been working out for Salah. He has played a few games, I think, you know, obviously uh, Jose Marino has given him a, ch a few chances, but it just really hasn't taken them. Um, and he's, he's obviously played in a few cut games, which hasn't really gone too well, of course, losing to, um, what was it, Bradford 4-2. Yeah, not really ideal for Salah. And of course, he will be going out on loan to, uh, to Fiorentina until the end of the season. Moving on to the next transfer, guys, we're going to be talking about Bertrand, and this is going to be a full deal contract. Of course, he was on loan, or, you know, is slash was uh, on loan until the end of the season at Southampton from Chelsea, but they have just decided to make this contract a full deal for £11.4 million, which is a lot of money to pay for Bertrand, but of course, um, he has been playing terrifically in the back of his Premier League. You know, Southampton, of course, being fourth at the moment, nobody expected them to do so well under uh, under Ronald Koeman, but he has just been, he's been an absolute saint. That was a pretty good joke, that wasn't it? Uh, because they, of course, they are the they are the Saints, but um, yeah, he's just been a terrific manager and he's been doing fantastically. And Bertrand has just signed for 11.4 million. Whether he's worth it or not, I'm not too sure. But you know, uh, they did need a replacement for you know Luke Shaw leaving in the summer, and they may they look like they found one already. And Bertrand will now be playing for them full time. And moving on to the next transfer, guys, we're going to be talking about Delhi Ali. I think that's how you pronounce it, Delhi Ali or Delhi Ali, something uh, similar to that. And uh, basically, he was playing for MK Dons, and he has just signed for Spurs, but he will be going back out on loan um, until the end of the season at MK Dons because, of course, he wants to finish his, um, you know, wants to finish the season there. They're doing pretty well, and maybe they can, you know, maybe he can grant them champ, uh, may maybe he can grant them, um, uh, of course, promotion. Um, but until then, he won't be going for Spurs. But he has just signed for. Spurs. 
Spurs for five million pounds. And looking at his 55 rated card, you would not um, put a price tag of five million on this guy. But of course, he does have a 64 rated in form, and apparently he should be a silver. You know, a lot of people in the foothead comments uh, you say he's uh, should be much much better. Should be a silver as well. Um, so we'll have to wait and see what his future has. You know, lies ahead of him. But he, uh, Spurs have just signed him for five million pounds. Moving on to the next transfer, guys, and this is one that I feel like I have to apologise for. Of course, I had him in, an, uh, I think it was two days ago I had him in, uh, or was it yesterday? Um, I had him in an episode, of course, the, of, of a January done deals, and uh, he actually, the contract completely broke down. He didn't agree terms with West Ham, and he has actually now just signed for West Brom yesterday on transfer deadline day. And, uh, yeah, he's gone for he's gone to West Brom on a free deal. Uh, he's been an absolute trooper for Manchester United, of course. He's had that... To, uh, he's had that really bad illness which he's come back from and uh, he, de he definitely does deserve the game time so uh, moving to West Brom is probably one of the, is going to be one of the best things for him because I can't see him getting much game time at Manchester United so now he has just signed for West Brom and uh, good luck to you Darren Fletcher you absolute trooper. And moving on to a transfer that is going to surprise everybody, we're going to be talking about Andy Kellett and basically he has just joined Manchester United until the end of the season on loan from Bolton and this transfer just makes absolutely no sense in my opinion. We've got abundance in left backs, we've got Luke Shaw, we've got Daly Blind, we've got Rojo and somehow and some reason we have just loaned out or we've just bought uh, Kellett of course on loan uh, until the end of the season from Bolton. Apparently you know there's something good about this kid, he's 22 two years old um, I can't really say much about him because I don't think I've seen much of, of him but um, yeah when you think about Manchester United signing uh, defenders you wouldn't expect him to you know to be going to Bolton and Salford City which is where we've picked Alpha Turi and Kellett from so it's been a really strange January transfer window for Manchester United but hopefully we'll have an even better summer one but um, yeah Kellett now going to be a Manchester United player till um, till uh, till summer of course and then we'll see what he can do. And moving on to the final transfer of the day, guys, we're going to be talking about Endoy. And of course, Hull really, really needed a striker this January transfer window. And they literally got him like two hours after the January transfer window had passed. And um, they had announced the signing of Endoy. It left it incredibly late, but they feel like they've got, you know, a striker that can get them goals and can keep them in the Barclays Premier League this season. Of course, I think Jelovic had a really bad injury, and uh, Abel Hernandez also had a, an injury as well, both in the same game. And of course, that. That leads uh, that leaves Hull with like literally no goal scorers. So they've basically just gone out and into the Russian league, and they've bought Endoy from Lokomotiv Moscow, and uh, they've bought him for three million pounds, I think. So we'll have to wait and see what he can do in the Barclays Premier League now. And moving on to the next category, guys, we're going to be talking quickly about six players. They will all be going out on loan, so I will say that now instead of, you know, saying it for individually. So Santon will be playing the rest of uh, this year out at uh, Inter Milan. Ince will be going to Derby. Spoli will be going to AC Milan. Rolando will be going to RC Anderlecht. Uh, Ocampos, uh, Ocampos, I can't remember, I don't even know how you say that. Um, he'll be playing the rest of his career, or no, the rest of his season, sorry, at uh, Marseille. And Bannon, Barry Bannon. And of course, a fantastic player will be playing the rest of his uh, season at Bolton. And on to the final three transfers that we're going to be talk quickly talking about. And it is going to be uh, the Twardzik is the going to be the first transfer. And of course, he has come from Celtic. And he has just signed for Bolton on an undisclosed fee for a full deal contract. And Tonelli will be going out on loan till AC Milan until the end of the season. With then an option to buy for £4 million. And Lindegaard has basically just signed, I think, a four-year contract with Manchester United. Um, committing his future to Manchester United. Uh, and of course, he will be actually be going back out on loan. Or he will be going uh, on loan to Derby till the end of the season. Thank you guys for watching yet another episode of FIFA 15 January Done Deals. I think this will be my last ever episode for January, of course, and then I'll see if I can do this again in the summer, and I'm pretty sure I will be because um, I love talking about transfers. As you can see, I've done 15 straight episodes, and uh, they, they do take a while to edit, of course. They've got to, you know, you've got to edit them, and uh, then you've got to record over them, etc., etc. This one took about five hours today, so um, I'm, I'm fully committed to doing this. Uh, I love doing, uh, you know, I love co covering over transfers 
and stuff like that. And obviously in real life football, I hope to do some more stuff around it in the summer when there are more transfers to talk about. But apart from that, I want to thank you guys for watching every single episode so far. 15 episodes has been absolutely terrific to do for you guys. And obviously tuning in every day to watch it. Um, thank you guys a lot for that. So thank you guys just for all the support you've been showing over my channel over the last, you know, two, three weeks uh, over the period of transfers. But apart from that, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, leave a like rain. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and follow me on Twitter, actually come out for. And apart from that, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.